Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dears, and welcome back to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're new, thank you. Thank you for pushing the little play button. Now, today we'll be going over demo, review, and how to, how to use these products, how to cream contour, highlight, and conceal. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you enjoy the lesson. But if you are new, I'm going to give you a mini introduction. My name is Anita. And basically my music is about makeup, makeup tutorials, how-tos, boxings, music, and I do have a couple cover songs. And then I will have more information about my original music coming soon, like really, really quick. I'm actually quite excited. But before we begin, please consider subscribing and remember to push the little notification bell. <laughs> and follow me on all of my social medias at Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and even Snapchat. And it all has the exact same handle, at Anit Singer, as well as my IMDb page, Anit Lopez. And I understand I haven't been acting in a while. I will. I'm just trying to finish up this album. So, and I'll be working on my fifth song soon. Mm -hmm. But, as indicated, we're going to be uh, showing you these uh, wonderful, sorry, these are like toys to me, <laughs> Mas magnetic matchsticks on the Fenty Beauty Magnetic Matchsticks. So, let's go on with the tutorial. I'll oh, see you in just a second. Well, good morning, my dears. Now, as stated in the intro, today we'll be showing you how to contour, do your makeup, especially with the Fenty Matchsticks. Because I was actually quite surprised because I've gone to YouTube and there really isn't a lot of like individual review with this or a lot of how-tos. Now, you guys may be asking, so why do we need to cream contour? What's the purpose? What's it for? Why can't we just use powder? Here's the difference. Powder, in my opinion, is a lot easier when you're a little bit younger. It depends on your skin type. Now, if you have normal, like I do, to oily skin, powder is a godsend. Yes, it is. But even with that skin type, as you get older, you know, you develop some wrinkles, some patches. Sometimes it doesn't apply on your skin as well as it should. It just doesn't, my dears. So, cream contour I recommend mostly get older in age. Or if you have dry skin to extremely dry skin, it is fantastic. It's the opposite. It is a godsend. And even if you just have normal skin like I do, I noticed that for an old natural type of person, Cream contour is going to be your friend. So it depends what kind of makeup you are into. And the only fallback on creams is that it does take a lot more time than powder. So just a little heads up in the morning for you. But lately I've been into cream contour. Now there's different ways to do cream contour makeup blush highlight situation. Some people and some makeup artists do it this and then put the foundation on top but even me personally I've tried that and it looks like all my hard work kind of it, it looks too too natural for me now if you just the type of person who likes completely I mean completely natural just want to cover up some flaws but don't look like you have any makeup at all like those no makeup makeup days that would be the method for you my dears but today the reason I have my little cute little bow mm -hmm, from Ulta by the way is I need you to see my face to see exactly what I am doing. Now, the trio that I have, which I think is so cute, it's magnet, it's from Fenty. I actually been testing this and I did take this with me when I went on my vacation for Disney World. And yes, I will have a video, like makeup that everyone likes. So I will be doing a tutorial on it, including like little screenshots and videos of everything that I saw, but I'm still working on that. So that's still taking me some time. But today I'm gonna show you if you are interested step by step in reasons of why I'm doing certain things that I'm doing. I am going to be using some powders only because well you kind of need to set it or else it's just going to move it everywhere it's going to be a hot mess. Now right now I have my eye makeup on and if you are interested in knowing how I did this makeup on I actually did this and I kind of fell in love with it when I did the April BoxyCharm. This video down here I'll also put it down in the description below, just in case you haven't seen it. The only difference is that I didn't put the foil on top of my lid. I actually like this little situation better because I actually kind of got a little upset when I had to put the foil on. So this time I'm like, oh boy, I absolutely love it. It's like this nice sunset. <laughs> it's good for summer vibes. <laughs> but today we're going through contour and a review on these sticks because um, it's kind of like a two-in-one situation. So. Right now, I do have primer and foundation. 
that's all I have in my brows and my eye makeup on. That's it. So let's uh, go on with it, shall we? So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer for you can actually see what I'm physically doing. And as always, it's morning. I think I figured out the outside scene situation. Basically, wake up early as hell, get yourself ready, because literally it's like 7 a.m. Apparently, it's called a magic hour, and I think you're able to see everything. And when I edited it, like my last video, I didn't have to do much. So I'm doing it again. So let me know your thoughts. If you like this, I don't mind waking up early. It's live. Comment below. I'm gonna do what I did last time because I felt like it does a lot better. I am gonna be using my mirror. It's gonna be on the side here, but I'm gonna try to turn this way for you can see what I'm doing. Now, the colors that I have for the Fenty, I have Mocha, Bamboo, and Trippin'. Mm -hmm. Now, as indicated, all I have is foundation. When you do these kind of situations, do all your cream products first. Let me say it again. Do all of your creams first. Do not put powder because the powder first and then cream, that's just disaster and heartful and you're just gonna have to start over. So let's save ourselves some time because remember what I said, this actually takes a little bit longer. The first thing that I do, and I'm gonna look so weird by the way, with these products, like this matchsticks, I'm so happy they're magnetic because I lose everything. <laughs> I know, if you're like me, you understand. The cream contour, you have to take, pay attention to your face. So what is it that you want? Because anything dark is gonna make things smaller. Anything light is gonna make things bigger. <laughs> so the way I'm gonna do this is, there's two ways, oh, I'm sorry, three ways to contour. The first way I mentioned earlier is that you do everything that we're gonna do in about a second and then put foundation on top. If you wanna be completely natural, that's your way. But I just want to look natu natural natural-ish. <laughs> so we're going to do it this way. Now, there are some people that's going to do everything that I'm going to do only one shot. But the problem I find with that is that the blending tends to look together and it looks like you didn't do anything. So we're going to do things one thing at a time and I feel like that would be a lot easier to see what's happening anyway. So, the first color I'm going to use is this color that's called Bamboo. Bamboo is a light color and it does cover. Now I have used this for, for a bit and I'm going to show you how much product this thing has. That is how much product this thing has. Yeah. Now some people want to put their brush on top of this and put it on their face. That works fine but I'm going to use the mesh stick itself. Especially since I'm the only one using it. Makeup artists will use a brush for other clients because you know it's other people. But I'm using it on myself. So what you want to do with this light shape is the first place you want to put it underneath the eye right here because you want to try to brighten this up and cover as much as you can. Oh, if I didn't say it, this shade is bamboo. So you're going to put it right here. And this Fenty comes like in this set. And you can also customize it individually, but that's actually more expensive. Just a little FYI. Put it down the bridge of the nose. It's like you would like with your concealer. We're gonna go over that in a minute. And then, right here, cause you're gonna contour right here, right where the ear is. So you're gonna go a little bit underneath and put that line. I don't know if you're able to see it because this is actually fairly light. And you're gonna make like a little star happy face situation up here. Hopefully you're able to see it. <laughs> cause my viewfinder it looks like you can't, but is there a promise? You just saw me apply it. And then you're gonna blend this out. I'm gonna be using the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. This is from Sephora. I just happen to have the yeah, Abbey Rouge one, but they do sell this individually and you put it right underneath the eye. Now with cream, here's the thing I need you to pay attention to. Do not drag, pat, and pat it in both directions because if you just go in one direction, it's gonna settle there. But if you go in both directions, it doesn't have time to settle. So you're gonna pat everywhere that you put that cream contour. Now you can also put a little bit on the top lip because it's gonna make your lips a lot fuller. And put it right underneath the nose right here because the foundation tends to go away around that region for some odd reason. And if you have a little redness, that helps. And if you have smile lines, that works as well. I kind of don't, but hmm, why not? And the 
that's basically what you do with this little guy. Then we're gonna go straight into the actual contour shade. There's a little bit of a, I'm a warning, I'm gonna look a little bit scary. Don't be scared. Now you're gonna put this about the same way you would put your powders, except this one you're gonna be a little bit more strategic with it. You're gonna take this, remember what I said up here is gonna go to contour, which is why we put the other like cream, creamier part right underneath it. So, which is why I have this little bandana. I need you to see what I'm doing. So basically, you're gonna go align. And that's it. Don't drag it too far this way or else it's gonna look like you have a five o'clock shadow. And yeah, we don't want a five o'clock shadow. So, we got that. It looks kind of dark, but we will blend it out, promise. And what I like about these Fenties, because this is a mini kind of review, but I already told you what's happening, blends out beautifully. So don't be scared to go a little bit hard handed. And you do the same thing on the other side. Try to do a straight line if you can. <laughs> Try. And then if you have like a big forehead, go ahead and do this entire section. Me, I have a little forehead, but I want to bronze it just a little bit. I don't like having it empty, like white. So I usually do two little stripes like that. Remember, we're doing surgery. <laughs> I like to build it up because this is a very warm shade. I have a yellow undertone and my skin is warm, but it just feels like maybe I could have gone a little bit darker, but you'll see why in a minute. And then you're gonna go right underneath the chin right here because you know, you're trying to sculpt your face a little bit. Now, if you have one of those slender faces, you do not need to do that part because then that's gonna make you look sickly, but I have a very round face. And even if you have a square face, if you wanna just shape it up a little bit, you can do this. So it's just, depends on the face shape that you have. And then I'll drag it down on the neck. Because we're trying to be proportioned here. <laughs> and then I, you don't have to, but I personally contoured the nose a little bit only because, you know, I'm Latina descent and right here I'm a little bit bigger and I don't like that or it could just be me. I don't know. But you put right here on the sides and if you like the button nose situation like I do you put it right here some people put another line in the middle I personally don't like that on me but just like right here is what I usually like that is your portion for the contour it's kind of the same thing as you would with a powder so I'm gonna give you a second for you can look at the portions and how I put it on my face for you can see So we're not going to be completely done with this. So I'm going to put this on the side and I'm going to be using and try to use a cream brush as you possibly can. Today I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics brush. This is in Heavenly Lux number seven. So I like this dual one and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to use the bigger side. And here's the thing about cream contour and about this product as well. You can leave it on your skin and it's not going to like, you're not timing yourself. It's going to dry and look terrible. It actually like warms up your skin a little bit and the longer you have on your skin it actually gets a little prettier i know so what you're gonna do is you're not gonna move around like this like you would with the regular powder what you're gonna do is go on the edges here and slowly pull yourself up so i'm gonna go in slow motion on this side and i'll speed up this side that way you can at least see what i'm actually doing so on the edges here you're just gonna go up gently don't press it so hard on your skin just light light motions and then this bottom portion just like pat it and it does help at least helps me if I do this because it makes that line you can actually see what you're doing see how that looked you do the same thing up here, gently going up. Also, this technique is not one of those techniques to where you can rush. So if you do cream contour or if you have like extremely dry skin to extra dry skin is what I recommend 
doing the cream products for to be honest make sure you give yourself extra time because you can't be rushing the situation you have to be gentle and delicate with it and then this you think because it's the cheek or right here in the chin bone that you don't have to be the same way no Everything is up. We're trying to lift our face up. So up in the same way, nice, saw the edges. And then right here in the middle, pat. I'm gonna give you a comparison. This is where it's nice and blended and slowed in. And then I'm gonna show you this side where it hasn't been blended. So I'm gonna speed up this side a little bit for since you already know how this should have been applied. All right, you see how nice and subtle that looks? Now you see why I say cream contour is a little bit natural? <laughs> and then for the nose, it's the same thing. You're gonna have the assumption to blend down. Don't do that, because that, that's just no. We're gonna keep blending up light motions. I'm gonna do slow on this side for you can see. And the thing I like about these Fenties, they blend out absolutely effortlessly. So even if you're a beginner, this is perfect. The same thing on the other side. This is good, especially if, if you're a type of person who has like no lips or thin lips or just want to be a little bit fuller. Remember how on the other one I put light up here, you put a little dark under here. And that helps create that darkness and fuller lips once you put lipstick and all that on. And the same thing, up gently and patting. Now as you can tell it's nice and bronzy and it looks very natural. I want to darken this up just a tad just for you can have a little bit more of that sculpted look like. So I'm going to use the opposite side of this. I'm actually am going to put my bronze on the stick and you're going to put it right here and put it right in the middle. Do the same on the other side. And then you stop the side just to pat. Patting just helps it not look so harsh. And as of for right now, that's basically... Sorry, there's a dog going crazy. I think this is a squirrel. <sighs> Sorry, I can't control outside noises. But that's basically what we're going to do with mocha. So these two but you're gonna go much higher, obviously. I'm gonna apply a concealer before we go into trip and actually, I'm sorry, the dog's distracting me. You're gonna put concealer underneath there. That just helps brighten everything up. Remember what I said, we're doing everything cream first? I'm using, by the way, I didn't even say it. I'm using the Hello Fab Binti Avocado Concealer this is in shade, shade fair. And then I'm gonna go back with that pro and pat everything in. Okay, now that that is blended in. Then this one has Trippin, which is basically a highlight. This one is a pretty color. It's like a highlight and blush in one. It's absolutely fantastic. And basically, what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna go right here like you usually would do with the blush, but you're gonna easily the same method as you just did with the contour. 
and it's okay to put it a little heavy handed because it's a little bit light. I don't know how well you're able to see the pink, but it's a beautiful color. It's just very, very light. And the thing that's good about this one is that you can put it on your lips too. That's basically how light this shade is. It's a pretty shade, but it's kind of light. Since this came in a pack, it's not like I could have chosen it, but I probably will buy a stronger color because even though I'm light, I'm sure I've said this before in my past videos, I have yellow undertone, I'm kind of dark. So I will go back with this brush and do the same thing she did with the contour going up and pat. And see, but this particular color, I, a, I don't really love it because it kind of goes away and it's too natural for me. So yeah. Now as for all the cream products, you're basically done. I stated this. My shades were Bamboo, Mocha, and Trippin. They do sell these individually, but individually is a little bit more expensive. But uh, yeah, like I said, that one blushy shade, I may have to customize that one. So it just depends on your preferences. But as indicated, all the cream products are done. You can see how nice and natural it is. Now you cannot just leave everything this way because it will move around and it's just, no. You have to set it. Now, you do have two options. You can either A, just use a translucent powder, put it all over your face just to set it, and you're done if this is what you actually like. Or, I do want it to show this a little bit more. So, I'm actually gonna be using an actual bronzer, a blush and powder and yes it is the Fenty one and I'm gonna show you why so for me like I said the we do creams and even though we are using powders on top to set it you'll see the difference I'm gonna use the Fenty powder pro filter in lavender I'm gonna be using my tart little brush over here and I'm gonna take a very heavy heavy amount like that much and I'm gonna put this all underneath the eyes and this is going to help in two ways. One, it's going to literally lock your makeup in, which is not going to move. Especially like if you are going out at night or anything like that, you know, you're sweating or whatsoever, you ain't going to move. Okay, I am back. My apologies. My SD card decided to um, <clears throat> say full and I had to reformat it. So my apologies. But as I was saying, you have to set everything and lock it in, especially if you're going to be out at night or anything like that. You want to make sure your makeup stays. And then right here, the light portion, put a very heavy amount on here because in a way we are baking. I will do a baking tutorial as well. Let me know if you are interested. Comment below. And the thing about the Fenty uh, filter, and I have done a review on this powder. I'll link that video down in the description below just in case you haven't seen it because this does two things it sets the cream you're also baking and it lightens up and then believe it or not I'm gonna set the contour or else it will move its cream so like I said you can do your whole face with the translucent powder you'd be fine but I actually want to emphasize that just a little bit so I'm actually gonna be using the CoverGirl Chocoholic I know right can you wonder why I bought it bronzer now this does smell like chocolate but over time the smell kind of goes away because even now it's like very very like very very like light, light scented i'm going to be using the luxie brush this is in this is very dark for me for my skin tone it is it was the only shade there so and i didn't know i'm literally going to be putting my brush like this it's not the best but yeah and literally like when you blended the contour i'm gonna be patting because if you do this action like you usually would without uh, the creams, you're gonna move the product around and all your hard work would be gone. So, the edge of your brush right here, just blend the edges. See how much darker that looks? Now, I must say this is not my favorite, but the whole reason I chose it, because this, it is a little bit harder to blend, to be honest with you, but because we have that cream, it helps. See how I'm just patting? It takes a lot longer, but you know, obviously I bought it because of chocolate. But, I don't know, that's not a good reason to buy anything. But <laughs> it helps set everything in place, because you see how it gets a little gray on me? We're gonna fix that in a minute, but yeah. When you see gray, it gets ashy, because it's too dark for my skin tone. That's what that means, my dears. Then a little bit on the side of the nose. 
and then from the top right here since we're not setting we're gonna just simply pat because you know we still have that white cream contour there see how it's slowly like our face is baking it and for the bottom here I actually don't want to use that bronzer so what I'm gonna do is mix a little bit of this actually for the bottom I'm gonna go here I'm gonna do this same thing patty just pat everything and then for the actual cheek air we did apply a little bit of that tripping color that's supposed to be that blush situation so I'm gonna be using my favorite blush from Laura Geller Tropic Hues I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Blooming Brush and then I'm gonna start taking the bake and the whiteness off since we're basically all set see how I cleaned up the bottom here Now, as you can tell, here it's a little bit harsh. Like I said, that contour is not exactly my favorite. So I will use like a little kabuki brush with no product on it and just slowly blend everything. Gently. That's the keyword. Gently. Pat and blend. That's the keyword. Pat and blend. It does look a little bit powdery, but I'm going to be putting MAC Mix Plus on top, which will help the situation. And there you go, my dears. That's basically how you bronze, contour, conceal, and highlight slash blush with the Fenty matchsticks or should I say magnetic matchsticks <laughs> yes I went in and finished up my makeup and I did put a little bit of Max Fix Plus and Urban Decay Settings for you just to make sure everything is locked in so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like this tutorial if you have any questions or maybe there's something I didn't explain clearly let me know comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions the best that I possibly can like I said contour and cream products I feel they'd be better depends on your age that way things are a lot smoother softer if you're a beginner because uh, powder it can be a little bit challenging and these matchsticks from Fenty they're very easily blendable you're not like scraping or trying to you know make sure you have to be out of time and like race to get everything done as you saw it took me a while to explain and it's still blended absolutely gorgeously mm -hmm. and or if you have dry skin to extremely dry skin big recommendation a must actually so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed this type of video but i really appreciate it and if you knew thank you for being here i really appreciate it but before we leave remember please consider subscribing and remember be safe be kind be careful i love you i miss you and i'll see you on my next video. See you soon.